All right, uh, let's look at an example of uh, finding bases uh, for image and a kernel of a linear transformation. All right, let's say you have a linear transformation uh, from R3 to R3 defined by uh, this definition right here. All right, so first I'm going to look for a corresponding uh, 3 by 3 matrix uh, for this linear transformation, uh, which is going to look uh, something like this. All right, so uh, this uh, matrix multiplication does exactly the same thing as applying a linear transformation here. Uh, we can double check. All right, you can see that the 2a plus 4b minus c, which is exactly the same thing as the first component, right? It's all zero, so it's going to give you zero. And the negative 1a, which is right here, so order is different, so you have to be careful there. Uh, 2b and 3c. So that's exactly the same thing as a third component. All right, so this uh, 3 by 3 matrix uh, corresponds to uh, this uh, linear transformation alpha. All right, so I'm going to create an augmented matrix, uh, which is basically uh, putting all zero on the right-hand side since we're looking for the kernel. So we want the right-hand side to be zero. All right, so we got that. And we're going to apply um, the following two uh, row operations. All right, first thing I want to do is uh, I want to uh, get a 1 here. So I'm going to take row 3 and add it to row 1. That replaces row 1. All right, and also I have all zero rows, so I want to be at the bottom. So I'm going to switch row 1 at row 3 and row 2. All right, so the resulting matrix uh, should look uh, something like uh, this, all right? So you can see that, that we have a 1 here already and that all zeros at the bottom. All right, and uh, I want to turn negative 1 into 0. So I'm going to take uh, row 1 and add it to row 2. Right, so that, that we can get uh, a zero here. So take row one, add it to row two, and that replaces row two, and which is going to give us this uh, uh, following uh, matrix here. All right, so we have this uh, following matrix here. All right, now we got the one zero zero. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to turn eight uh, into one. So to do that, you can simply uh, divide through by 8. So we're going to take a row 2 and divide by 8. Right? Then you end up with the following matrix. Right? So, so we divide this by 8, divide that by 8, the 0 stays the same. So you can see uh, 0, 1, 5, 8, and 0. Right? Just one more step. Right? So using this 1, uh, we need to get a 0 here. So I'm going to multiply row 2 by negative 6. Since we want to uh, get rid of positive 6, so we're going to multiply 1 by negative 6 and add it to row 1. And that replaces row 1, which is going to give us this uh, following uh, resulting uh, matrix here. All right, so I'm going to bring it up here. All right, now the matrix is reduced. All right. Then what you're going to do is uh, first, uh, let's try to find a kernel, right? So I'm going to find the corresponding uh, equation, right? So equation uh, for the first row is going to be here. It's going to be A minus 7 quarter C equals 0, which is equivalent to A is equal to 7 quarter C. My right? second row corresponds to uh, B, 1B plus 5AC equals 0, which corresponds to uh, B equals the negative 5AC, right? And the third one basically says 0 is equal to 0, so it does. it's not wrong, but it doesn't really give us anything, right? So which means that uh, uh, we have no condition on C, so basically you can pick any number for C, but once you pick C, and A value and B value are already determined. So we know what the kernel is, right? So it's going to look like uh, something like this. 
All right, look at the kernel is going to be a simply a multiplication. Uh, it's multiple of this vector, 7 quarter comma negative 5 eighth comma 1. Right, C could be any number. So I'm going to pull out C just to um, make it look a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to pull out C from that. All right, so that the, you can see the uh, vector here. And you can take that as the basis vector for the kernel of alpha. But uh, I don't like fractions, so I'm going to actually uh, multiply uh, everyone by 8 so that uh, we can get uh, something like this. All right, so the kernel is going to be simply uh, any multiple of this vector. So you see that I multiply everyone by 8 so that I don't have to uh, deal with fractions. So you have uh, 14 and negative 5 and 1 times 8, 8. So this is the basis basis vector for uh, for the kernel. Uh, you can actually take any multiple, uh, mul you know, scalar multiple of this vector. All right, and at the same time, we've done all the work, and uh, we can actually find the uh, uh, basis for uh, uh, image of this uh, linear transformation alpha. All right, so you can see that uh, we created one zero 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 one zero. So this shows up in the first column and also the second column. So what you can do is you can actually go back to the original first column and the second column. So once you find all these ones, you look at the corresponding uh, original columns. So two zero negative one and a four zero uh, positive two. Those are the two uh, uh, vectors in the basis for the image. So we can write it as, so we found the uh, image of alpha is simply, um, you know, any multiple of a linear combination of 2, 0, 1, which is the uh, original first column, and the 4, 0, 2, which is the original uh, second columns. So this is the basis uh, for the image of alpha and uh, this matrix is the image of kernel. So in this particular case, uh, emit is uh, two-dimensional, and uh, the kernel has uh, one dimension, right? Which makes sense. This is a three-by-three three matrix. It's going from uh, R3 to R3. So the sum of you know dimension 2 and dimension 1 has to add up to 3, all right? So that's how you find the, uh, the basis for kernel. And you basically do the row reduction. And then uh, also the basis for the uh, image of a linear transformation. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.